Have you ever heard someone say that this drug doesn't have any side effects? Yeah, it does. Hi, I'm Dr. Patty Barch. I'm a traditional naturopath, founder and owner of Naturally Unbridled Wellness, where we focus on wellness solutions, not disease management. You can learn more at naturallyunbridled.com. This is Down the Ridge with Dr. Patty, where I give you seven to 10 minutes of holistic life and wellness information on my way to work. Beautiful sunny day, so we'll see if we're allowed to keep it. Anyway, um, so let's talk about drugs and side effects. I have a dear friend, Brenda, who is, we've been friends since we were like 14, and uh, we are both in the holistic realm professionally. She works primarily, but not exclusively with animals. I work primarily with humans, but we commiserate in that the vast majority of what we do is trying to undo the damage of a crappy diet and bad medical slash veterinary interventions. Is there a time and a place for medical interventions? Absolutely. I've always said that. I've always stood by that. Um, you know, emergency medicine for sure um, is extremely important. Uh, enough said about that. However, the the perpetual prescribing of various um, pharmaceuticals without addressing the underlying cause just creates additional problems. Um, somewhere in my uh, library of videos, I actually presented a case study with permission of the client that walked people through I, I literally did forensics on this woman's case. She was a um, remote client, and so it was a lot, you know, no scanning or anything like that, but a lot of questions and such. And I thank God this woman had really kept accurate records of like when she started certain drugs and when she had certain procedures. And I was able to seriously forensically go back in time to and identify that every problem that she had stemmed from the fix before all the way back to the first prescription and what the side effects of that were and how that led to the second prescription that led to a surgery that led to another prescription, right? And that was contraindicated for someone with this particular condition that led to a diagnosis of a disease that she actually didn't have, uh, failed the test, but they diagnosed her with it anyway, and then prescribed her a drug that I want to say was like $20,000 a month. Side effect, side effect, side effect, contraindication, blah, blah, blah. It's the domino effect of the medical model. So the other day I had a client in the office who had started taking a prescription for some prostate symptoms and, um, and his wife was in the appointment as well. And they're like, oh yeah, we were recently, the doctor put us on this, but there's no side effects. And I'm just like, what? There's no side effects? And, but they asked, what are the side effects? And they were told there aren't any. So I go to my handy computer and go to, I usually use a site called rxlist.com, like rx, the prescription sign. Um, but drugs.com will do it, or you can go into any search engine and type in what are the side effects of and the name of your prescription or your over the counter medication. Inevitably, of course that client, I hand him a list of all these side effects and he goes, oh, hey, that I did develop that since I started taking this drug. Like, I think it was a cough or something, but it's like, good Lord, um, with the side effects. So fundamentally, you've got to address the underlying cause because symptoms are just your body's cry for help. 
Um, I had a, another client um, years ago. She had come in for a thermography. And um, I, part of our thermography intake is to get a list of the um, prescriptions that they're taking. So she mentioned this drug and I didn't recognize the name of it at the time. And I'm like, what is that? And she said, it's calcium. I'm like, uh, no, it isn't. I know all the names for calcium and that isn't one of them. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, eh, let me just look this up quick. So again, back to the handy dandy internet, typing in, it wasn't calcium. It was an osteoporosis drug. So they had diagnosed her with either osteoporosis or osteopenia and then had put her on the drug. And when she asked about it, um, there's a cute little kitty crossing the road. Oh, oh, and another kitty. You guys hang out. Okay, be careful. Oh, you're so cute. Um, when she asked about the drug, the osteoporosis drug, they told her, it's like calcium. <laughs> no, it isn't. Calcium is a nutrient that your body needs for multiple biochemical and biological processes. This drug is designed to interfere with biochemical and biological processes. Um, and these osteoporosis drugs, one of the side effects is that the mandible, the jawbone, just disintegrates and um, never grows back, by the way. Um, other side effects of the osteoporosis drugs include while you have decreased hip fractures, which is what they scare you into taking that drug with, there's increased femur fractures. So you break your leg just a little lower. Um, so fundamentally, what does it come down to? Broken record, eat real food, don't eat crap. Don't eat the artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, and preservatives. Lay off the sugar. Get the chemicals out of your body. Um, use natural products uh, like as often as you can. Natural skincare, um, personal care, uh, natural house cleaning products, right? As much as possible, use products from nature because your body being from nature has mechanisms of dealing with these things. What can it not appropriately deal with? Things that are not from nature. These chemicals that are made in laboratories to uh, um, affect some sort of change in your physiology. Um, so fundamentally, if you are taking any prescriptions, you should go right now to rxlist.com and click on, like type in the name of your drug and click on side effects. And then you might want to look also at contraindications, warnings, drug interactions, because I will tell you from experience that the, a lot of the people who are supposed to be paying attention to this stuff do not pay attention to it. You have to advocate for yourself or your loved ones that you take care of because um, the, you know, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. In a lot of cases, your specialist doctor is prescribing a drug for this specialist condition, not paying any attention to the fact that you have this other condition that's contraindicated for that drug. I see it all the time. Let's just get you healthy. Okay. Peace out, peeps. Have a healthy day.